You can mm -hmm. say, I love you. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> the same effect. No, and, 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 I totally, and I totally appreciate that. But with that being said, are you all like pro get out there and vote people? Are you? Of, of course. Okay. Yes. But th that's with an asterisk. You know okay. What I mean? Okay. My thing, out, my thing is get out and vote and follow it up. So, Rafiti Blue, let's move it on over to you. Who has been the most okay. effective president for the black community in this millennium? What do you, who do you uh, think? Um, that would be hard to quantify since there are so many economic and idealistic variables, right? You know what I mean? And, and I agree with everything Anthony is saying with a little caveat to it. <laughs> uh, my thing is that when I started studying Donald Trump, he fit a, a, a certain profile character for me. Here is this man that came into money by his father's money. <clears throat> and it would be natural because he's, he was essentially a real estate, real estate tycoon, which he would have a certain disdain for, the, for government regulation because to open up hotels and all of these you know, resorts and whatnot, you need, the, you need the government to show you favor. Well, the government would probably will bust your chops a bit when you're trying to get all of those things done. So mm -hmm. I understand and I actually respect that Donald Trump would go in and not be so connected to Washington, D.C., and be like, okay, this, 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 and actually get it done. Not necessarily having the same influences lifetime politicians have. Right, right. You know so, I, so I do get that where I think Donald Trump is actually an advantage to the black community to answer your question is that mm -hmm. with him in place, because I don't really feel that he is the best communicator and I think because he comes across as curt, rude, direct, and and, and, for, and for me, it's, and for me, it's not about what you say; it's about what you do. I can look over it all because you can say you love me. You can say you can, you can say that you love me like I love you. You can mm -hmm. say I love you. Mm -hmm. It's still <laughs> the same effect. No, and 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 I told and I totally appreciate that. But with that being said, Anthony, that is you. You follow what I'm yes. saying? So and, it's, and it, guess what? It's a lot of right. me's in the world, right? And 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 to go with that, I as as an idea that I would like, if we could have somebody that just if if Trump is a a policy guy and is actually putting things effective in place, then please be wise enough to know that you need a communicator by your side to articulate your agenda. We need, you, we, I, I, I know there are a lot of Anthony's out there, like you could say whatever, just what you do counts, actions do speak louder than words. I will never argue that point against anything. You but I, I mean? definitely, I definitely get you about having the nuance and being able to verbalize it and connect with the audience. But this is my thing: everybody is due to error. No one's going to be perfect, you know. So we got to take what we get when we have a president, and we definitely have to support him. And mm. another thing, I felt like because he is the president of the United States, I tell people, don't become what you hate. When you pray for someone, prayer effective and makes change. That's true. Even though I don't like you. That doesn't mean that I'm going to wish you harm. I'm going to pray for you because according to what we've been taught by the Bible, that's just how I feel. I can pray for you and hope that that would make you better. You of know? Of course, of course. And taking the high road is always a good thing. You know what I mean? Just because somebody is laying down on the ground does not mean you got to lay down with them. I, 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 feel, I feel you on, on all, all of that. I just want the conversation to start on alternatives. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As good as a Donald Trump from a policy standpoint may, may very okay, well. Let's, okay, you say Donald Trump. Okay, we had a very charismatic, very nuanced, very political correct person, Obama. Oh, wait, last Obama? oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was. I and, was yet, and, yet, and yet, still, and yet, still, no. 
advantage of will change Ooh. for the urban or black community or African Americans, whatever you want to call us. Right. No, nothing I'm, changes if nothing changes. Anthony, I'm actually with you because I, know. I, was, I was pissed at Obama because with all of the talk on change that no one from Wall Street and the housing debacle was indicted under his watch. Yep. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so I totally feel you. And having a black face in power actually made black people way too comfortable. And there were no grassroots movements that demanded Obama do certain things for black people. I will, I will not deny that. But brother, what I am saying to you today mm -hmm. is that why the F don't we start the conversation on an alternative to that? We already know that Republican and Democrat are both political parties are bought and paid for by corporate interests. It is time to start corporate to corporate interests and world bank. Yes, so it is time to start a discussion on an alternative. What happens when we don't like? either party, either candidate from either party, I believe we should empower ourselves to raise another party. There are, other, there are smaller political parties out there, mm -hmm. most of which I cannot name off the top of my head. There mm -hmm. are more political parties than just the Republican and Democrat. Many are small, and I believe Bernie Sanders came from one. I can't remember the name he came from. But I would like to, I would like to see us demand or start putting our own candidates on the table because this can't be the out of out of every out of all the people on this planet there are only two people that can bring us to the promised land i don't believe that and i don't think anybody watching this well thing. well it, it's going to take more than just two people i know we have like um checks and balance we have the congress and the senate and all that but it's going to take more of diversity to help cause okay. this change. Yeah, yeah. So it, okay. we're, we're gonna need more than just us as um, as the people to get what you're looking for, which I totally agree, we definitely need that. Um, mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. we gotta stick with the facts of what's in front of us now and moving okay. forward. Okay. Um, that's where I'm at. I, I'm not a woulda, shoulda, coulda person. That's mm -hmm. a fire and that's something to hope for, but um, we gotta deal with what's in front of us right now. And what I do appreciate, another thing about Trump, he did for, bring four million jobs back. He did bring 400 manufacturing jobs back. You, wait, you know what, Anthony? Since you're seeing that, that is the next question we're going to. So okay. I'm going to use that towards that. So the next question was this, name three positive actions of President Trump. And since you're talking about President Trump and things he's done, three positive actions of President Trump. Three positive traits that Donald Trump has done that I really, really appreciate is going against the H.R. 6666 track and trace mm. bill that was presented by a Democrat. Why yeah. in the world would you, knowing about in Revelation, if you read the Bible, 6666, that's the mark of the beast. Why would you even consider even naming that building? Then why is the app called, that you download for COVID-19, called the Babylon app? Like, what are, what are the connections to that? The second thing, I appreciate Donald Trump being in office. Ever since I was a little kid, there have been children missing on milk boxes my entire existence. Right. Donald Trump has signed a bill to put an end to that. And as we look at it, every time we turn around, we hear about 35 children were saved in Atlanta. Other kids were missing children were found here. Worldwide, globally, there is a investigation and a surge and insurgence of finding and destroying pedophile and sex trafficking around the globe. And Donald Trump has his foot on that. And I appreciate him for that because the children are the future, okay? Another thing that Donald Trump did was making the other countries pay their money. That's why our, G, uh, GPD, our GDP is up by two points, it's by making other countries pay up what America has never really forced them to do because of everybody look at America like, we're the big muscle. We're going to step in and we're going to pay for everything. We're going to send our troops in to fight for other assets that only really is linked to the 1%. It's about their investments. Wherever there's not a, a central um, banking system, there's poverty, there's war. Because they want to go and invade that and take over their natural resources or whatever it is that they want to um, 
go invest in. That's none of our problem. So that's why when Donald Trump once again said America first, I felt him on so many levels. Donald Trump, because of the way that he moves and the things that he do, he's not well received. But on the other scope of this, if people could take their hate and disdain for him out of their eyes and really research his policies and really research what he's doing, on the other side of humanity, he's really doing some great things. He really, really is. Like me, myself, you can get, there will be different versions of me. Some people will meet me and say, oh my God, I love Anthony. He's a beautiful and amazing person. He's so inspiring. Then some people can meet me and say, I'm a total asshole. Sometimes you have to put on a position because Trump also feels like you have to be strong. He may be a little overboard with that, but I do appreciate his stances. Like even with North Korea, he got them to the point he made China like, no, we're not going to keep on going with what you guys have been doing for decades. You guys have been raping us where we have made y'all become the crux of the economy. Now you guys want to implement and become socialism. And then the 1%, the central banking system now is back in China. Because they want China to become the superpower. And Trump is so against it. And I appreciate that even that's for him just being looking for change. Or even if it's um, his um, narcissism. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So those are the things, some of the three things of many mm -hmm. that I appreciate that Donald Trump has done for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Cool, awesome. So Graffiti, I'm gonna switch over to you and ask you the same thing. So before we move along, um, Graffiti Blue, I just wanna make sure people are listening and paying attention to what I've noticed about Anthony and some of the key points he's been talking about Trump is that he wants us to not just judge Trump based on who he is, but open our eyes to some of the things that he's done. And he said them more than once, some of the things he's said has really opened my eyes to, to want to pay attention to some of the things that he's done. Just look at that. I'm not saying I'm going to change. Or, you no, know no, how no. I feel. Because then another thing, hold on, one, one, one more piece because of this. Because of the 1% owns and runs media, now I understand why he used to always shout fake news. Because the Jews and the people that are really promoting a lot of the stuff that's against Trump, that Trump is breaking down, it's not in their favor. They run the media. They, have, right. they will never put out on the media anything that he's done substantial to make people even sway that way. That's why they always tell people in business, don't talk about politics and don't talk Got about you. church. Exactly. Because you can actually have a discussion to change somebody's view, even to make them think or question it. Where can they find you if they want to find a more information? You know, I'm going to look you up and want to ask you some questions. I'm looking up at, at King of Hair on Instagram or Facebook, Anthony Cherry. And remember, the best is yet to come. And the even though the weapon may form, it shall not and it will not prosper. Because greater he that is in me than he that is in the world. You to find me, I'm the novelist, author, poet, Lamont Anthony Wright, a.k.a. Graffiti Blue. You can find me at gblue.com, g-b-l-e-u.com. All of my social media, everything is one convenient place. My YouTube, Instagram, all of that is right there, gbleu.com. Holla at your boy.